Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how you can quickly animate any object along a custom path. So if I select my rocket here, I created this custom path that this rocket will animate along. And I'll also be showing you guys how we can animate text along a path uh, and have it bend towards the path. And then just in general, having the text animate along a very weird path. So let's go ahead and get started. So here's a new comp. All I have in here is a rocket graphic. And if I want to create my own custom animation, what I can do is hit P on my keyboard and here's position. But here's the thing, it's like not exactly intuitive because I all I have is our two values here. So what we're going to do is make sure nothing is selected. We're going to go up to the pen tool right here at the top. And we're going to come here and click a point. And then we're going to click another point, you know, where we want the second keyframe to be at. And what, basically we're creating a custom path right now and I'm holding down shift to uh, drag out these vertices. But right now I'm going to have the rocket animate along this path. So before we go ahead and turn these into keyframes, what we need to do is open up the shape layer tab here, go into the contents, go into the shape, go into the path. And we want to make sure the path is selected and we want to copy it. And we'll go to our graphic here and remember hit P for position and we'll select the position parameter and we will paste those keyframes right into there. And we don't need the shape layer anymore so we can just delete it. And if we scrub through here, we'll see that our rocket is animating along this path. And what's great about this workflow is that if we need to adjust the timing of this, we can just drag this last keyframe out and we can have this be set to four seconds instead of the two second preset. So this animation is now four seconds long and is animating along this path. So let's talk about animating text along a path. Let's grab the text title tool. You know, we'll type out our text. And let's say we want to revolve this around, say, a circle. Let's go up here at the top, hold down the rectangle tool, and let's select the ellipse tool. And we can come here, click a point, and hold down Command and Shift on a Mac or Control and Shift on a PC to draw out a perfect circle just like this. And then let's take a look at our text, and let's open that up. Let's go into the Path Options and set the path to Mask 1. And that's automatically going to make the text work around your mask. And you can go here to the first margin and you can kind of animate this if you want. And then you can also reverse the path if you want it outside of the mask, just like that. And then you know, continue to animate this. And then, you know, add a keyframe for first margin. And then we can go forward in time and just, you know, do whatever we want. And now we have this animation along a path. And let's just say you want to have the text revolve around a path rather than kind of react to it. We'll, we'll do exactly what we did for the rocket. We'll just come here, make sure nothing is selected, and we'll just draw out our sort of crazy path like this. And of course, this probably isn't the realistic example, but just showing you guys how this kind of works. We'll go back into the shape layer, go into the contents, go into the shape one, go into the path one, copy the path, and then we can just delete the shape layer. Go ahead and hit P on your keyboard to bring up position for your text, and we can just paste that right into there. And you know, that looks pretty good. And the reason why you want to make sure you're using shape layer properties is that if we go ahead and maybe just delete this and we create our own mask within this layer, we just did something crazy. And then we went into mask one, we went in the mask path and we copied it and then we pasted it into the position. The only thing is, is that the uh, layer would automatically move in a totally different direction, something that, something that you didn't design. So the reason why you want to use shape layers is so you can have that exact design that you created. So just something to keep in mind. But with these techniques, you should be able to animate any object along your own custom path quite easily. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more After Effects tutorials just like this. And please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you have a good day.